Hi, I am Arjun. Uh, in this session, we'll see the so uh, we will see how to solve the problems related to beams. Uh, this is a given problem for a cantilever beam loaded as shown in figure. Determine the deflection at free end. Now this is a free end. Okay, it is a UDL with load 5 kilo newton per meter. Consider one element. We have to consider this entire structure as one element. Uh, the given Ings model is 200 GPA and moment of inertia is 4 into 10 power minus 6 meters to the power of 4. So we know that okay for this element, for this element uh, we can write the displacement functions or uh, we can write the stiffness matrix, general stiffness matrix as Ke is equal to Ei by Le cube, length of the element cube, 12, 6Le, 6Le, 4Le square, minus 12, 6Le, minus 6Le, 2 Le square minus 12 minus 6 Le 6 Le 2 Le square 12 minus 6 Le minus 6 Le 4 Le square now this is a stiffness matrix for uh, uh, a beam element now let us substitute the values so 200 into 10 power 9 now i is 4 into 10 power minus 6 length of the element is 1 meter so this will become 12 6 minus 12 6 so 1 cube 6 4 minus 6 2 minus 12 minus 6 12 minus 6 6 2 minus 6 4 now this is a stiffness matrix uh, on substitution and if we simplify this after simplification and if we take the power outside if we take the power outside for this element so finally we will have the stiffness matrix like this k is equal to 10 power 6 9.6 4.8 minus 9.6 4.8 minus 4.8 4.8 3.2 minus 4.8 1.6 minus 9.6 minus 4.8 9.6 minus 4.8 4.8 1.6 4.8 so now this is a stiffness matrix now the general description of FEM which is K Q is equal to F so now k happens to be 10 per 6 into 9.6 4.8 minus 9.6 4.8 4.8 3.2 4.8 1.6 4.8 9.6 minus 4.8 9.6 minus 4.8 4.8 4.8 1.6 minus 4.8 3.2 this is k matrix q1 q2 q3 q4 this is q matrix now we need to find out f1 f2 f3 f4 so in order to find out this for the given problem so now this is a UDL problem so for this we have to use load vectors to find out the uh, load vector problem load vector formulas to be used in order to find out the load vector and the load vector is given as minus P naught 
L e by 2 minus P naught L e square divided by 12 minus P naught L e by 2 plus P naught L e square divided by 12. So minus 5 10 power 3 length of the element is 1 divided by 2 minus 5 10 power 3 1 square divided by 12 minus 5 10 power 3 into 1 divided by 2 5 10 power 3 into 1 square divided by 12 so now this happens to be minus 2.5 10 power 3 minus 0 0.416 10 power 3 minus 2.5 10 power 3 minus 0 0.416 10 power 3 if we substitute that values here minus 2.5 10 power 3 minus 0.416 10 power 3 minus 2.5 kilo newton minus 0.416 kilo newton and since node 1 is fixed delete first row first column second row second column so value of q3 will be minus 7.816 into 10 power minus 4 meter and value of q4 will be minus 1.0425 10 power minus 3 radians and we are now we have find out the values of displacements at node 2 and we need to find out deflection at the free end so in order to find the deflection at free end so now we need to find out deflection at the free end so we know that di displacement v is equal to h1 q1 plus le by 2 h2 q2 plus h3 q3 plus le by 2 h4 q4 so since value of q1 is 0 and value of q2 is 0 because this node q node 1 is totally fixed so q1 and q2 transverse displacement and angular displacements will be 0 so this equation will become v is equal to h3 q3 plus le by 2 into h4 q4 and at the free end see we know that so in natural coordinate system zeta is equals to minus 1 at this point and zeta is equals to plus 1 at this point now this is a free end at this particular of a uh, free end value of zeta is plus 1 in natural coordinate system so zeta will become plus 1 and we know that the shape function h3 will be 1 over 4 2 plus 3 zeta minus zeta cube and h4 will be 1 over 4 minus 1 minus zeta plus zeta square plus zeta cube now what we have to do is we have to substitute value of zeta into this h3 equation and h4 equation so h3 will be 1 over 4 2 so minus 3 zeta 3 into 1 minus zeta cube this will be become 1 and h4 1 over 4 minus 1 so uh, minus uh, sorry plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 so value of h4 will become 0 
and uh, 3 into zeta this is plus so h3 will be 3 plus 2 5 5 minus 1 is 4 so value of h3 will become 1 and value of h4 will become 0 and now on substituting value of uh, h3 and h4 into this equation 1 and since q1 is 0 q2 is 0 this equation will be reduced to this and now v is equals to h3 q3 plus le by 2 into h4 q4 so h3 is 1 and value of q3 is minus 7.816 into 10 power minus 4 value of q3 h3 is 1 Q3 is minus 7.816 10 power minus 4 plus Le by 2 length of the element is 1 so 1 by 2 into H4 is 0 into Q4 minus 1.0425 10 power minus 3 so this entire term will become 0 so now V will become minus 7.816 into 10 power minus 4 meters this is a total deflection at free end of the cantilever beam at free end of the cantilever beam okay thank you